Yeah, we're on Omega Totality Labyrinth here, so uh, this time I will talk about the being con man character. Sometimes you saw in a movie like my friend, uh, well, my friend Dahmer is, I don't think he's con man, but I think some of serial killers are con, con man as well. Just like, you know, like in Dahmer, like Dead Bunny and stuff. Doesn't mean unless I am uh, idolist, I mean, I mean, nowadays some kind of freaks um, there, you know making some notes and uh, videos about and romanticizing sets, romanticizing them like in a weird way, you know. And it's quite uh, ironic, especially when you think about some victims as well that end up, ended up very, very harsh way, you know. And uh, as long as I know that uh, there's some con man in a good way, I mean, not uh, like 100% good, but you know, like if you are watching my videos about George Triangle, there would be some kind of bad stuff you should have done to get the gut, to get the good things. <laughs> For example, like you know, like Frank McNeil, and he had went some like weird stuff in the '60s as a being a uh, like biggest con man in the U.S. that shocking the world, and it's now he's working with FBI as some like I don't know, tester. I mean, not chocolate tester. But <laughs> more like you know uh, checking some uh, checks to see if there are something fraud happening there and uh, I just did something wrong about sleeping on the couch there and uh, laying my back to the wall I don't know um, you know I was some kind of weird stuff happening on my head my head just pumping up and awakening me and it just like you know, getting weariness but I tried my best to be getting better as well as well, just like not before this and I just don't really know what I suspect about it. and uh, what back to the topic and uh, what being con man in a good way but uh, sometimes it's, they use their intelligence and the talents to do the bad stuff I mean not only bad stuff for, for, him, for themselves but as well make themselves ended up in a tragic tragic way. And I hope I understand you understand what I'm talking about, right? I don't maybe you don't understand I and mean, I don't even understand anyone. And um something like my head is pumping enough and uh, I'm just sleeping on the wall behind there and uh, something really worse happening. I don't understand that either. <sighs> I don't even understand either but being content as well. But uh, especially with some people with obsessive tendencies or uh, brain problem and, or like brain mind problem have some kind of straight forwards I mean like you know an arrow to the left or right which is like way to go I don't know and it sucks man I don't even know like, what I, I, I'm talking about in con man I don't understand what I'm talking about now, right? <laughs> it's been great in here. <sighs> but I think that's quite a lot of fun, but talking about some characters, but I mean a fictional one, okay? Not the real one, because it's kind of sad and tragic. I don't even run yet, but at time, so I don't really understand. But I still, I still feel guilty about it. So, thanks. And, uh, to my best friend, and uh, I was just watching uh, Breaking Bad. I Breaking Bad. I mean, one of this this live talk about Breaking Bad and I don't know, like actor Age of Fields about Walter White before he shaved his head, and then after he shaved his head, and I uh, just like everybody's treating him like a freak, you know, and uh, his students even knock him out and it becomes just it's outraged after he gets some like disease and uh, just knock some everyone is assholes and uh, he gets to the top and killing everyone that is pissing him off, you know. Uh, but I want to make some analysis about it that I'm sure I understand what I'm talking about.